Yo, what's up, good people? It's your main man, H. Cortez, DauntonBusinessAcademy.com. In today's short video, we're talking about cloning funnels for my econ using the Builder All system. I have some great funnels that are converting for me. And a lot of my teammates are starting to clone those funnels, and I'm going to show you how to make the correct updates so that everything goes to you and to your join link and not mine. So stick around. All right, so we're in the back office of Builder All, and uh, this is one of my teammate sites. I'm actually going to load the first two funnels for him, and I thought while I was doing that, I might as well record it and show you how to do it. So basically, this is one of the funnels right here. So what I'm going to do is click Edit. Uh, you know what I need to do? Let me see which one this is, because I'm actually going to change the name of the funnel. So that's the one of the that's the first thing I think you should do. If you're cloning one of the funnels that I've sent to you, or, or if you're in my econ and you have Builder All and you want to try out one of my funnels, uh, you're welcome to it. Just inbox me and I'll shoot one over to you. Um, all right, so we are showing regular people. Okay, so that's the income shifting funnel. So let me do this. Let me first uh, go here and I'm going to rename this funnel so that it's easy for him to identify which one it is. So I'm gonna name this one income. Actually, that should be all okay. It's income base shifting. And I'm just gonna call it income shifting. All right? Or I actually should have a dash in there instead of a space. Income dash shifting. So I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna change it to income shifting. Now it's because you notice they were both similarly named at first. So uh, this one is now income shifting. And now I know this one is the credit repair a funnel. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit edit. And for those of you who do not know what my econ is, it's basically a personal financial success company. We teach you how to uh, build wealth in five different modes. Uh, unfortunately, it's a U.S. company only. But if you're looking for a way to learn how to build generational wealth, you got to check out my econ. We teach you entrepreneurship, tax minimization, debt elimination, credit education, and then also asset accumulation or investing. So great program. If you're not familiar with it, I've got some links below where you can check out some uh, actual presentations that can help you learn a little bit more about it. But chances are you overpaying taxes and you want to get that fixed. Uh, and that can bring some extra money back into your household that you can use to get out of debt and start investing with. So here I am on the first page one of the funnel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first optimize or change everything in the uh, desktop slash mobile because in Builder All, you actually have your desktop view, your tablet view, and your mobile view. These are three separate builders. So what you do on the desktop view is your main builder, and it carries over to the other two. However, it does not always format properly. So in another training, I will show you how to format for tablet, and then I'll show you how to format for um, mobile as well. But right now, let's get everything in that we need to get going right here. So none of this needs to be changed. This is all what we wanted to say. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the answer page, which is actually where the opt-in lives. As you see, when I go into the opt-in uh, portion, the first thing it's going to do is tell me that I need to configure the email marketing email. So I need to tell it where the emails, which email list it's supposed to go to. And as you can see right here, this is a little off. So I'm just gonna grab it and drag it up into that box where it should belong. I'm gonna right click. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna configure. Now, I already have, uh, this is the builder all system that has the mailing boss uh, autoresponder already attached. So I'm gonna use mailing boss and it should not be asking me to log in because I'm already logged in. So it should take me to my choice of lists. And just bear with me one second. I don't know if my connection is um, getting faulty on me. 
There we go. So now I've already gone through and created two lists. Now this is the income shifting funnel. So I need the emails to go to the income shifting list. So I'm gonna check income shifting. And now when somebody puts in their name and email address, is going to go into that particular list. So that's step one on this page. Now, the next thing I need to do is configure where the actual opt-in goes or the person opting in, where do they go when they give me their name and information and select get the free report today. So now I'm gonna go back to right click. Did I right click? There we go, right click, and then I need to go into change URL. So right now it says, if there's a pending subscriber, where do you want them to go? I want them to go to a specific page inside this funnel, and that page is going to be the financial independence page. So I hit okay. And then it says, what if a subscribe, uh, once the subscriber is confirmed, where do you want them to go? I also want them to go to a page, and guess what page I want them to go to? The financial independence page, because that's where the video report lives. And then if someone chooses to unsubscribe, where do you want them to go? I actually want them to go to another page, but if you unsubscribe, I want you to go back to the home page, and maybe you'll remember why you actually opted in in the first place. I'm gonna hit confirm. And then I'm going to hit save. Now, you don't have to save after every page, but the way my internet has been acting here lately, I don't want to lose any of that stuff as I get through. So I want to save it on every page. And remember, as you're saving uh, this on the desktop version, it is putting this information in the tablet and the mobile version, but you might have to go in and make some adjustments there. So the next thing I want to do is in this funnel, if they answer the questions, answer no to the questions, I have them set for a uh, page that says, sorry, you do not qualify. So I need to do the same thing. I need to configure this email uh, report and see where I want them to go. So the first thing I need to do is configure. Now, and uh, I did not set up the do not qualify list for this one. So right now, I'm going to send it to the income shifting, uh, the same list that I set up if they do qualify. Now, this is a little off, so I'm going to move that up a little bit and move that up a little bit. And now uh, I'm going to check to see if this needs to be configured where we change the URL. Nope, it's going to independence, uh, financial independence, financial independence, and home. That's where I want it. And I'm just going to confirm. And now I'm gonna hit save again. So now you have them opting in and they're going to the right email list. That is good. But this, uh, my econ is an affiliate uh, or actually a more direct sales network marketing type company. So when they get to the financial independence page and they like what they see and they want to join the team, we need to make sure that the buttons are taking them to the right place. So let me get uh, my teammates' username for my econ. So it takes them to uh, a video presentation. And then it says, uh, start income shifting here. So what I wanna do is right click on this button. I wanna go to the action that this button is supposed to lead to. And then right now, since they cloned this funnel from me, it has my, my econ join link in there, but I need to switch this out and put my teammate's join link in so that he gets the credit for the sale. A R I S P R O dot my econ dot net forward slash join now. And we are good to go. So now I'm gonna hit save. And I'm gonna show you guys one more thing that you have to do inside your email list just in case someone tries to opt in twice with the same email list 
for whatever reason, you want them to still land on the join page. So for the most part, these are the basic things that you need to update uh, when you clone someone's funnel and build her all. But what I'll do is in another tutorial is show you some of the advanced settings that you need to update, uh, especially if you're building your own brand. Some of the things that I will show you in that video is the share image, uh, the share text, the SEO, uh, the Fabricons, and those sorts of things. Even your Facebook um, pixel code, you want to update that as well. So all of that stuff is tracking for you and not the person whose funnel you cloned. So uh, that's it for this portion of the training. And then we'll go ahead and get into uh, the other training here momentarily. Oh, guys, you almost let me forget. I want to show you what uh, you need to do if you have, uh, just in case someone tries to opt in with the same list. So I'm gonna go here and go ahead and make this public. So I'm gonna publish this. And then I'm actually gonna go to the funnel myself because I need to grab a link to the actual funnel so I can put it inside the email campaign to make sure that if someone opts in and uh, they're using an email that's already on my list, I don't want them to get a page that says you successfully updated your email. I want them to still go to the video report. So this is what the actual funnel looks like. I think it's pretty slick. <laughs> you might not think so. Uh, we're showing regular people to earn anything from uh, $200 to $1,800 monthly. Uh, uh, answer these questions to see if you qualify. You have to work a job. Yes. Do you pay taxes? Yes. Uh, could you use an extra two to $500 a month? Yes. If $34.95 could put you in position to change your life, how soon would you have the 34 right now? And then I would go ahead and put in my email address or my name, my email. I'm going to do test. I'm going to agree to the privacy terms and then I'm going to hit get free report. Now, if I've done everything correctly, it should go to the landing page where the actual video presentation lives. And here we are. Bang. All right. So now I need to grab this link right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the mailer boss really quickly. And I'm going to show you where it's a very important for you to put that link uh, inside mailer boss, uh, mailing boss. So let me jump into mailing boss. That is the income shifting funnel. So I wanna go into the income shifting uh, funnel. As you can see, there's the one subscriber I just made. So I'm going to actually click on the little pencil which represents update or edit. And then what you have to do is you have to go into advanced. Uh-oh, am I having trouble with my internet all of a sudden? Oh, no, there it is. So here's my advanced single opt-in, single opt-out. And as I scroll down, it says, what if the subscriber is not found? How do you want to redirect? I want to redirect to the um, financial independence page, which is where the actual video presentation lives. And then it says, what if the subscriber already exists on your list? I want them to also be redirected to the page that uh, houses the video, right? So now that that is done, I can hit save changes. And what that means is if I went back into this funnel, and I'm going to go back to the actual home page of the funnel. And then if I go through the survey one more time, come on, don't bug out on me right now. Let me finish this part and I'll let you cool off a little bit. All right, and then I'll have it right now. So you remember that I, put in test as my name, 
and then I use the email test at IamCortez.com. So this is an email that is already in the system. If I did not do what I just showed you and say that, then it would not take me to the video where uh, I want the people to go. It will give me this update screen. So let's see if it behaves correctly. And now it's doing what it's supposed to do, which is bring me to this page. Even though I'm already subscribed to this list, it brings me to the correct page. So make sure that you guys get that done. And this is where knowing how to uh, connect your pages and your uh, mailing uh, boss is very critical. So that's it for today's training. Thornton Business Academy presents the Digital Empire System.